Cheers. <laughs> okay, welcome to episode five. All right, so we stepped up our game. We're doing da confit ricotta raviolis, homemade, homemade pasta, and we got the duck going. I wanna go over first what we did to prep for this meal because it requires uh, quite a bit of prep work. So we put, me and Becky used a crock pot, Agatha put it in the oven, and we cooked our duck four to six hours, you guys would say. Yeah. Or, you know, but you want it to cook slower rather than faster because you want the meat to be falling off the bone if you use duck legs. I use the duck breast, but you want it to be falling apart when you're touching it. To get into the pasta, this is how our pasta looks right now. We use this type of flour because it's the best flour for pasta making and pizza dough making. What you do is you can either use the full bag and do 10 eggs or you can use half the bag and do five eggs. If you're doing it by hand, you want to build sort of a, a well of flour and have a hole in the middle and that's where all your eggs are going to go. <laughs> yeah, I should have told you this before. It's like when I changed the recipe an hour before we got off. <laughs> Just kidding, we're not doing yeah. duck anymore. <laughs> so we're, we're going to have a well of flour, you know, and all the eggs are going to go in the middle and then you're going to knead the flour into the eggs. The other thing you can do, put it in the old KitchenAid. <laughs> it takes like two minutes. You know, you still have to knead it a lot. So even if you put it in the KitchenAid, you're going to have to knead through it, but you want to make sure there's no grain, there's no flour being felt, nice and firm. It's not sticky and you're just going to knead that until it's nice and firm and then you wrap it in some plastic wrap and you let it sit for at least 20 minutes. So we have had our duck cooking all day. We were able to throw that duck into a food processor. Uh, if you don't have a food processor, you just chop it up and you pull it apart by hand, that's fine. And then we have our pasta ready to be rolled out. So we're gonna start by rolling out our pasta. Now I always keep some extra flour. I don't use this flour, I use regular flour. When we're rolling it out and it feels a little sticky and it's starting to stick to that roller, I have a pasta roller back here. You're, they're doing it by hand, they're crazy. So when you start rolling, it's gonna get super long. So if you wanna break it apart, you know, feel free. So it's a manageable. Right, did I like chop them into? Yeah, you chop them into little quarters. But if your dough, you know, is sticking to your roller or your machine here, you're gonna add flour. So you start at, you start at two. And I don't do every single number. I go two, four, six. And if I feel like it's necessary, I sometimes go to eight. So let's start rolling our pasta. So if you had the ravioli tins, you would align it on your dough and you cut, leave a little slack on each end. So I'm just gonna do actually like a square version because it's easier. I can use a pizza cutter and I make a square and then I fold it corner to corner and then I twist it around and it makes a cute little like tortellini kind of a pasta. I think I'm actually gonna use a cup and put them in circles. Yep. Breaking apart. I don't need you. Done. I'm done with you. I can do this without you. Yeah, I have enough. I have others. I don't need you. All right. Who is ready to start stuffing? Me. For the sauce that we're gonna add to the duck, it's either white wine or your chicken broth that you use to cook the duck in. And then you do your chopped onion, your minced garlic. You're gonna add a little bit of heavy cream or coconut milk, whatever you prefer. Salt and pepper. You can, this is where you can kind of add your other herbs. Like I'm gonna do a sage. And then you're also gonna add, if you have like a little bit of Parmesan cheese or anything like that. So you're just gonna put that together, heat it up a little bit. Just wanna let it simmer, everything nicely cooked down and then we're gonna add it to the duck. All right, so mine is sizzling. It's um, coming like basically to a boil and all my onions are getting soft. I'm gonna turn down my heat. I'm gonna add my heavy cream. You can add milk, heavy cream, coconut milk. Yep. Did you add any cheese to it? Yeah, we can add it into the sauce right now so it melts down. So what I'm gonna do, I think, I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time and see. What is the desired consistency? Just supposed to okay. soak into the duck and so that it can make like sort of a bindy consistency. Now we're gonna make our cheese filling. So the cheese, you guys have ricotta or what did you guys get? Yep. Ricotta. Salt, pepper, chives, thyme, sage, whatever you got. So you can do this two ways, guys. You can either 
put it right with your duck, or if you want to control how much cheese, how much duck, like the ratio, okay, you could put the duck in your ravioli first and then add the cheese. So I have a ravioli press, so I drape my dough over the bottom part of my ravioli press, then this piece goes on top. So I made little circles, I'm gonna pop it in the center and I'm gonna just close it off, right? Perfect. So I cut squares instead of circles. While I've got my cheese right here. Perfect. So I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, like, I'm gonna do the option of just adding, I like a little bit more cheese. So I'm gonna add, put the duck in and then add the cheese on top. It's sort of like the little, just to note here, everybody, see what Becky's doing. She's adding egg on the outside of her pasta here to, to hold the pasta together. I'm adding my egg around the whole, all the sides of the pasta. Is this it? Ooh, I like that. What? Yes, that's exactly it. The only okay. press. Cause it's, it's really cute. cute. You just take it out of the press, both sides, and then you use the pizza cutter to cut the excess pasta off the sides. Oh. Mm -hmm. See how it's breaking apart. So we need to put less in there next time. Or just I, watch, watch our amateur cooking. <laughs> for free. I like to pretend like, I'm like talking to a million people. I'm like, for our millionth like, we're giving away a cooking with friends apron. <laughs> <laughs> Feels right. If this is wrong, I don't want to be right. Brown butter wine sauce, butter. Dry wine or chicken broth, whatever you prefer. Um, a little bit of heavy cream, a little bit of balsamic vinegar if you have it, and parsley, chives, salt, and pepper. You know, just stay with the seasoning pattern that you've used on, you know, like the duck and the ricotta. The other thing you can do while you're doing this as well is to candy the shallots and duck skin. Well, that's the fun part about cooking for me, at least, is it's kind of like, okay, well, here's the recipe. Right. But. Yeah, you mix in what works for you. And for the millions of viewers watching, when you don't follow our recipe, we'll judge you silently from the background. <laughs> oh my gosh, everything is covered in just a little bit of flour. Everything's fine, we're good. The duck skin and the shallots, when they get nice and crispy. Wow. And mm. that's go just on top, like a garnish on top of the you know, all over your ravioli. So it's literally like high heat and butter and just let them get really nice and crispy. All right, my water's boiling. How about yours? You guys threw yep. some raviolis in there? All right, just keep an eye on it. They really don't need a lot of time at all. So if you wanna add olive oil to the water before you put your raviolis in, it's not gonna be a deal breaker, but it will keep them from sticking together. Um, and then when you take them out, I immediately put butter on them so that they don't, you know, again, that they don't stick together. They like to stick together. They're good friends. They're good. <laughs> but I wanted to practice oh, man, first. That freaking sauce came out like, how amazing is that? Okay, guys, I did the plate. <gasps> oh, look at it. Love you guys.